this is on now. Just check in. Hang on. Yeah, it looks like it's come live. Okay, so this is part two of my playthrough of her story. Um, I played about half an hour yesterday. Um, I don't know how far I got. It says um, in Steam it says about 12%. So I have a long way to go, um, enjoying it so far, um, it's kind of immersion storytelling, I might have to use this database to find out everything about the game basically, so um, I have here my notes from <laughs> yesterday, um, which are quite extensive so far, so I'm going to try and add to those. Um, so yeah, the last entry that I looked at was E, and I think I've now looked at all of those videos um, and interviews. So the last one um, that I saw, one of the women interviewed, they kind of look like the same person, but one of the women interviewed um, admits that they both killed the victim, Simon Smith, and hid the body in their house um, and it was one of these interviews that was taken a little bit later than the others so I might just look for house and see if there's something else. So 19 entries found, well one of the frustrating things and also really good things about using the database is it limits you to the first five entries which means you have to be really precise with your search term. So I think that's one thing that I'm going to have to be a bit more accurate about today. Um, but let's just have a look at these first ones that have come up on the house. Hopefully it will tell us a little bit about um, the scene where the body was found. Um, the other thing that happened yesterday was um, an image of the victim's face kept flashing up sort of on the screen background which makes me think that there's um, something else going on here it's it's a kind of supernatural uh, element which I wasn't expecting so we'll see if any more of that happens today um, kind of freaked me out a little bit yesterday <laughs> so let's have a look at this first one see what happens so this is from the 18th of June this is slightly earlier than slightly earlier interviews sure Yes, of course, if that would help. Will you phone the house to let me know when you want to come round? Then I can make sure that I'm there. Okay, so they obviously want to search the house. Again, this is 18. He has a wallet, a huge silly thing, leather, real leather, I think. He packs it full of stuff. Business cards, receipts, lottery tickets. He always carries it in his back pocket. I think that's why he's got a bad back. Yeah. He sets the discs. I haven't seen it, so he must have it on him. He always takes it out of his back pocket before when he comes in, if he's in the house. Okay. So, wallet again, something else to check. I wasn't in the house. So she, this must be a different day. Same woman, but she's wearing something different. I wasn't in the house all of Friday night. After the argument, after Sam left, I left too. I was upset and I wanted to get away, so I took a car. Okay, so where did she go on Friday? Let's write down. Okay, so she left on Friday. Uh, let's just search for the wallet. Let's have a look under the body. 
I have a really fast metabolism, so stuff like that just comes and goes. I don't know if there's much more that I can tell you, but I haven't already told the other policemen. I found the body. I... So, she found it, or says she found it? Um... She also says she had a bruise, so I might check that out later. Let's just watch these other ones. Is this from the same day, 27th of June? Okay. Mm. It was after dinner. It was after dinner. I had spoken to Sam's parents on the phone. I looked up for an early night and I suddenly had this thought. I think it was something his mother had said. She'd been speaking about old stuff. Sad stuff about when we lived there, about the baby. There's some boxes in the cellar, nursery stuff, stuff we never needed, and I never had the heart to throw out. And I suddenly remembered that when I'd looked down there the week before, those boxes, that pile was in the wrong place. I went cold all over. I went down there with a torch and went straight to the back and that's when I saw the bin bags. Pulled them open, saw the body. I screamed and that's when I called the police. So the other woman, oh, see there's that face again. I wonder if that means that that's a valuable clue or whether that has any meaning. Um, the other woman said that they killed him together, so she's lying, I think. Um, so I need to check out um, about Simon's mum and boxes in the cellar, but let's just have a look at this. Uh, so this is also from the 27th of June. His body. Real. And his throat. It looked like his throat had been cut. And I didn't see his glasses. He has these thick glasses. Yes, the only tune 
about that song although it was dreadful um, she was singing about somebody with blonde hair and one of the barmaids in um, the Rockington Arms Helen had blonde hair so I wonder if it could be linked somehow it's quite a tenuous so this is one of the later interviews so these tend to give a little bit more well a different perspective not necessarily more information so it's like, can you imagine? I tried. I tried to get pregnant too, but it didn't happen. Hey, Victor. I sit with so many boys, men. My body refused. I think my period stopped because hers had. I was pretty, but I mean, how could we stay the same now? I felt like Hannah had really fucked things up set us down separate paths. We have become different. How's it going? How was Birmingham? Oh, it's his creepy face again. Oh. <laughs> that song was so lame. Um, okay, so that's all the clips about the body that I've seen. Um, I want to know about the murder weapon, so let's just type that in and see if there's any evidence. One entry, that's the one I've just seen. Um, what about glasses? It's glasses when she found the body. Well, she killed him, so you know, she knew where it was. Um, cool. Did you play um, Street Fighter 5? wrong. The bags, I, I think they were from our kitchen, you could probably check that. We never go into the cellar. It's just a place we put things we don't need. My dad used to grow mushrooms there. The, the bags were taped up. I think it was parcel tape, but I think it was ours. I don't know about clues there really. Um, yeah, I managed to get in for like five minutes to the um, beta, but it, it was it was completely broken. So I'm really jealous. How long did you get to play? What characters did you, did you play? I want to know the details of it. Okay, this one's from the 30th of June. So. Well, fine. Fine. Um, considering. I got back into the house today, and that was weird, knowing your people have been there through my things. It's like I've been burgled. And it, worse, obviously. I don't know. I haven't lived in the cellar yet. They sent a cleaner in, as good as new, he said. But they had to throw some stuff out. Couldn't get the blood out. And I'm still waiting to hear from the coroner so we can get a date set for the funeral. It's going to be a cremation. So. Okay, so it might be worth just checking if there was a coroner's report. Um, I'm really jealous. I really wanted to play Nikali. I think he looks awesome. Um, actually, so far, I've only, you know, obviously I haven't played him yet, but him and Vega. Um, 
look like the ones that I'm kind of most interested in. Um, what, what, how does Bison handle now? I mean, he's kind of different than he was before. And look, his moves look pretty different. Um, I can check next. Let's look at Rose. Okay, so there's quite a few lazy ones about her having a bruise or it's just shoulders. Bruise? Oh yeah, no, it's nothing. I was going through the top cupboard in my kitchen and the chair slipped and I kind of hit the door with my face. We really hurt like hell. <laughs> okay, so that's obviously from a struggle with him. So it's the 25th of June, so he's probably already done that. Oh, she's such a liar. So this is the later one, so she's kind of admitting to stuff now. If one of us got hurt, the other one would have to be hurt too. A grazed knee, a bruise. When I lost my tooth first, we had to pull our harness to match. Once, I slept with a boy who was seeing another girl. The girlfriend came up to Hannah the next day and punched her in the face, gave her a huge black eye. That night, she had to do the same to me. But she almost went too far. I couldn't see out of that eye for days. She snuck a frozen piece up for me from the kitchen. Mm. So much of our bodies were synchronized anyway. We started our period on the same day, all our childhood diseases, stomach bugs, nits. So are they sisters then? Seems like maybe they're related. Um, oh, Matt got to use Vega, that's cool. Yeah, the V trigger stuff looks, looks good. I think it's going to be hard to get used to... Um, like obviously not having the, the ultra system. Um, but I think V trigger looks good, I think it's a good change. Um, yeah, how was the tournament anyway? It was um you know, what was you know, what were you guys were your guys were you guys matches like and I don't know, what was the competition like generally? Differences. She's a better driver than me. She passed the test for us. I tried to take it and nearly crashed the car. <laughs> Learned that you can't rely on confidence to get you through everything. Mm. She is the shy one. She was especially shy around boys. If Hannah liked a boy, I would have to pursue him. It was that way with Carl. Hannah met him first. She had such a crush. I let him take my virginity after night that his band had played at. It got difficult. When I was with Carl, we would have sex, but Hannah couldn't. Couldn't let him see she was a virgin. She had lots of excuses. After a while, we decided that I should take Hannah's virginity. It's not that different to a bruise, pulling a tooth, a graze. We used a hairbrush. Oh my god, this gets weirder. After that, we took it in turns, though. I was always the one who seduced the boys. Until Simon. Okay, so there's definitely something up with that. Oh man. So that was really close then. You guys did really well. Yeah, did they, uh, did they put the finals online or anything? I wouldn't mind watching, like top eight or whatever. This was nine, about nine. I went round and she was waiting for me. She was it? furious and so angry. The kind of anger you could only have towards yourself. We screamed at each other, argued, cried, we right fought. I hit her back, left a bruise. I had my wig on from performing, she tore it off. Eventually, we grew tired of fighting and 
I left. <laughs> I would like to have seen that. I'll have to check out um, top eight. Okay, so I'm going to look for sister. Do we think they're twins? I don't know whether to put in twins or sister. These are my notes. I don't know if you can see, but I've written quite a few notes for this so far. Um, it's kind of hard to remember everything. Um, let's type in twins. Nothing. Twin. Okay, there's a few. Um, so these ones, I think, seem to give a bit more information. So these are the later ones. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of notes. I haven't taken notes on a game since I played Fez. Like, I haven't needed to, but you kind of need to with this because. Yeah, I think they're twins. Let's have a look at this one. Florence took me home with her. Who's Florence? Mother hadn't been expecting twins and had a healthy baby. I guess she was just happy for Florence to clean up. Take away the evidence that this was anything but a happy occasion. Okay, so yeah. Oh, there's a creepy face again. I can't make out who it is though. <laughs> Note taking games is really good, yeah. I should do it more often. There were always princes and princesses. They were the special people, more important than the other characters in their stories. We knew we were like that. Twins. Magical. We were the princesses. Mental. We had a poster of Princess Diana from the newspaper up in our attic. Had a pride of place. And underneath, we used to put all our special things. When her engagement was announced, we were obsessed with everything she did. And later, when her life went so bad, we felt for her. Her divorce last year just kind of drew a line under things. Okay, so definite weird childhood stuff. When was what was the last game that you took notes for? I think. Yeah, Fez would have been the last one for me. Um, other than that, I probably should have done for Bloodborne actually, because you see a lot of weird items and messages and like NPCs, and when you start playing, you have no clue what anything is. But I kind of picked it up, you know, in, in good time. But there was definitely some stuff that I had to go back for. Are you out of your mind? Twins. So are they, are they or not? Twins. <laughs> really? Are you really asking me that question? Yeah, I want to know. I thought that would give me loads of search results. <sighs> uh, let's try Attic, because they said they had like a little space up in the attic for them to do their creepy sister stuff. They made the attic into a place for Hannah to play. There was a dollhouse. She hid me up there. I don't know what. Oh, creepy. Um, okay. I'm not sure where the dollhouse came from. I don't know if it was given to them or they inherited it. I mean, they wouldn't have had the money to buy it. It was so huge. <laughs> it must have been taken up to the attic in parts and then reassembled up there. It's a beautiful thing. 
Yeah, I think that might have been intentional. Wallpaper to screen, see that one clip. But. Little furniture, the lights work, mirrors, beds, big duvets and pillows. We spent hours and hours playing it. We invented all these characters and families who lived there. We wrote paperwork for them all. Passports, diaries, we gave them all really elaborate stories. See, this is what happens when you don't have a game console Once as a child. You play, play a moth got trapped in there. We'd left a light on. In the attic. It was making the most horrendous noise. We tried to kill it, but it was tough. We ended up crushing it under a copy of the Arabian Nights. Okay, so there's a couple more about the attic. See, 12 entries, but limits to five, so I need to be a bit more specific, I think. But let's have a look at these others. Could the hairs have come from somewhere else? Yes. Could they... We have a lot of dolls in the attic. There's a Rapunzel doll with long blonde hair. Could they have come from there? So it's definitely someone about something about blonde hair, and this barmaid um, was blonde. So I wonder if he'd been having an affair, possibly. Yes, I read a lot as a child and watched lots of TV. Then the doll's house we had, we still have in the attic. It's kind of a fairy castle. We used to play up there and make up our own stories. Yes. I inherited it from my parents, so it made sense to move back. Okay, so we, she lived Simon. in the house. They lived in the house. They're like going back to old ways before the pregnancy. Reminded me of being a girl, a dollhouse in the attic, old things. We didn't sleep in my parents' bedroom for a long time. We decorated it as soon as we moved in, but it was another year before we started sleeping there. I think this could have been the motive. <laughs> A couple I haven't seen. Oh no, is she going to sing again? This other person doesn't exist. I don't know what the blonde wig is, but it could be anything. Have you looked at the cat flap? Okay, so... You want me to play something? No. I'm not the world's greatest guitar player. Okay? Probably needs tuning. No. It's okay. How about a traditional band? Oh, I don't sing. You should be right up your street.
okay, thank God that's over. Um, so it's weird because they look really alike, but she keeps talking about having a sister with blonde hair and a wig. There's a wig in the cellar. So I don't know if one of them was wearing the wig or if it actually belongs to somebody else or there was a blonde person. Um, so let's just, oh, what else to search for? Um, These ones filmed on the 3rd of July, I think, are actually the most useful. The legal stuff was completed very quickly. Hannah moved back in with Simon. Eric gave Simon the week off to help with the move. He decorated, modernised wallpaper curtains. Hannah insists the attic we left as it was, dollhouse and all. Yeah, you missed another song. Simon never went out there. Great. Okay, um, I don't know if I already checked the coroner report. Uh, <laughs> it was a song about how that she had a blonde sister and she drowned her in the sea. Um, and they both fancied the same guy. So it makes me think that I don't know whether they were one of them. They both liked, fancied the husband, and he married when he married one of them. But then, why did they kill him together? So let's try his name. No. Uh, what else? She was pregnant, so. Okay, that's quite cool. We spent the wedding night in a hotel in Brighton. It would have been too much to do more. We'd sing for the baby. It was wonderful to be in a hotel, away from home, just alone together. Since then, we've always tried to get away for our holiday. Okay, sometimes. We couldn't afford our own place. Simon dropped out of school, went full-time at the Glaziers. That was Eric's generosity. We moved in with his <laughs> mum and dad. They had a spare room yeah, for Brighton. us and the baby, if it came. Yeah, you'd think they would both be suspects. It was it, a nice yeah. change. In one of the clips that I saw yesterday, she said that months. they both did it together hope. and hid the body in the house. Um, but obviously it's only one of them saying that. No, I lost the baby. I had a miscarriage at eight months. We carried on living at Simon's parents until that was only a few months after. Okay, one more under this one. Yes. It was a shock to him. I mean, we never thought it was possible. I don't know what he, I mean, I hadn't decided whether to keep the baby. I wasn't really ready to talk to him about it. What? I need to watch this one again. I was writing notes. And I... Did she say, the other one say she was pregnant and then this one said she was pregnant as well? Yes. It was a shock to him. I mean, we never thought it was possible. I don't know what he... I mean, I hadn't decided whether to keep the baby. I wasn't really ready to talk to him about it. Do you know what? I think they might be the same person. I think they might be like 
one person with two personalities. I think that's the twist. Because if she's saying that one of the sisters was blonde, and there's a blonde wig in the house, then she could be just want her wearing it and having split personality. Yeah, I think not actually twins. Um, I'm gonna put in about the wig. Okay, there's a few more about that. I think that's what it is. I think it's the same person. The wig, you mean? But what type of wig? Yeah. No, I've never worn a wig. What kind of wig? See, she's her body language is so. Yeah, good twist. Good twist, though, right? She's they they act very differently. The parents decided there would be a wedding. And after the wedding, Hannah moved in with his parents. There was no way I could follow, so we were separated again. I stayed in the attic. It was hard. It's like I suddenly didn't exist. I would sneak out, but in case anyone recognised me, I started wearing a wig. Hannah and I would meet up in the park. I was trying to get pregnant. But I couldn't. I mean, I couldn't do it with anyone we knew, so it was sex with strangers. Drunk guys I'd met in clubs, in parks, in alleyways. I was 17. It felt like I was being punished. But it was Hannah who had betrayed us. I had to stop when one of the guys gave me an STD. When we met up, it was disturbing. For the first time, my reflection, she didn't look like me. She was fatter, flushed. If anything, I was getting skinnier. I had a hearty look sometimes. We talked about what to do. Was it time to become our own people? I mean, that seemed like the right thing to do, but neither of us wanted it. We agreed that her and Simon would get their own place as soon as possible, and then I could move in. And that was the plan. Okay, so... I was 15, Carl was older, 17. She got a tattoo. I was really into him, regardless of how he actually behaved. Lots of drunken teenage sex. We did it in a church once. It's stupid. So he got tired of us and we split up after about six months. It was sad, but those early experiences, they help you realise who's really important to you, you know? Family. Okay, so if she has a tattoo there, My tattoo, <laughs> I got it to express my individuality. It's an apple and a snake. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so the apple and the snake, I'm guessing, is like a Garden of Eden reference. Check the dates. Oh, between these, to see whether she has a tattoo then. Oh, good point. That's on the 1st of July. Yeah, I need to find another one of her with short sleeves. I'm going to watch these two. I'm going to try and find an earlier short sleeved shot. So I moved out. Got a small bed set. Got my tattoo to mark the occasion. She's, she's got one. She's got one. I was singing in a bar in the evenings. So I had some money, enough money to cover my rent. What's and I've been doing something similar ever since. I haven't put down any roots. I don't exist. Oh, so they need to ask her what the tattoo is. So this is from the 3rd of July. That's from the 1st of July. Oh no, that's, she was just saying that he didn't have any tattoos in that one. Um, let's watch this one as well. It's also from the third. What he saw me singing thing? one of my shows. Pure chance. Not sure I remember what he was even doing there. Afterwards, I had a drink at the bar and he came over and we got talking. I knew who he was. Obviously, I knew who he was, but he didn't know who I was. He was fascinated by the likeness. He guessed my name from my tattoo. Her name is Eve. <laughs> Told me it was a palindrome, but that would impress me. So if it's an apple and a snake tattoo... I enjoyed talking to him. Then she's got the same one. It was amazing to be able to sit and interact and talk to him after all this time. He didn't tell me he was married. I'm not sure what he was thinking. He later told me it was like he was dreaming. A waking dream. Okay, so they both have the same tattoo. same question, you'll get the same answer. Is that your evidence? Of course I thought about what happened then. It's all I've thought about. My husband is dead. definitely think that they have the same tattoo because she was saying um, in the later clip that her the tattoo had her name on which was biblical which is Eve and the tattoo is an apple and a snake so I definitely think they are the same person. I got pregnant 
both our parents had a big powwow. We weren't even in the room. And they decided we should get married. Then my parents died. It was the worst year of my life. A miscarriage and then my parents. Okay, so... Oh. See, I know what I wanted to find out, but it's really hard to do it with these search terms. Um... going to go back and make sure I didn't miss anything else on here because I looked at these things like at the very beginning but I think it just tells you about how to use the database. When I was at school, I worked part time in the front shop. It was sort of an extended family thing. My dad used to work there, my mom worked there before I was born. I took care of paperwork, filing, typing out invoices, that kind of thing. It was a good job for a girl back then. I didn't work a till or anything, but I was quite shy, so I wouldn't have liked to have worked a till. She's the kind of quiet, shy personality, and this other one is more confident. Um, oh, I'm trying to think what else to search under. I, uh, I woke up, Simon was already up, and he made me a birthday breakfast of eggs benedict. Uh, we both had to go to work, so we saved presents till later. Um, I got to work, had some birthday cake, children sang me happy birthday, then I came home. The birthday meal was a takeaway, um, and Simon gave me his present, which I didn't mind. And after that, we talked about the baby. It turned into a big argument. Simon left. I was furious. I wanted to get as far away as I could and get some space to think. So I left. Mm. Okay, so it doesn't give a lot of information. Um, I think I'm going to leave it there for today. Um, I'm going to have a think about the next thing to search for because I have my theory now. I have my my theory of, of what I think is going on here. Um, so I'm going to have a think about it and um, I'll try and do another half hour or so tomorrow when I have a chance to look at my clue sheet that I've written, which is now very full. I need page two of the clue sheet. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, like. I have my theory, but I need to know how to get to more information. So, um, yeah, hopefully um, stream a little bit more tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, um, thanks for watching. And, yeah, Victor, I'll see you. And <laughs> now time to have a weird dream. Yeah, where I discover the hidden clue. Like a freaky ghost is going to, like, appear in the mirror in the bathroom and just be like, yeah, search under this, I'll search under this you'll find the clue. Um, I don't know if you actually finish this game or if you just get to a point where you're happy with you know what you've discovered. I don't know. <laughs> okay.
so um yeah hopefully like see you on stream tomorrow or like yeah i'll talk to you on wednesday about it anyway um <laughs> you'll be in twitch chat in my dream like giving me clues um so if i've solved it by wednesday i'll let you know um otherwise we can talk about it at arcade um but yeah thanks for the chat man i'm glad you had a good time in birmingham the tournament sounds awesome so i'm gonna try and um <laughs> i'm gonna try and watch um try and watch those finals on um, youtube and i'm gonna upload this as well so okay thanks everybody um yeah hopefully uh tomorrow actually tomorrow i might be streaming um something different everybody's gone to the rapture is out tomorrow so <laughs> so i might be streaming that instead but i'm definitely gonna have to think about this and we'll get it solved this week i have like one spare week to do as much like game stuff as i can so hopefully finish it okay thanks everybody